ثانك يو مستر شيرمان السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين just because of the time I will go directly to the presentation um, I'm glad today to present uh, some data from the Saudi Arthritis Registry and um, I'm going to uh, present it on behalf of my colleague بروف سوزان عطار دكتورة سلطانة دكتورة خولة الغانم دكتورة حنان الحمزي دكتور فهيد العنزي they are very active in the registry and they have good number of patients in the registry so I'm going to I have nothing to disclose uh, I'm going to talk about the remission rate in uh, our cohort and uh, predictive factor. Uh, to start with, uh, as you know, that current treatment guideline for management of rheumatoid arthritis um, uh, recommend early use of DMARD and to treat to target strategy to aim, and the aim is remission, as you know. And since we start our registry in 2018, the aim is to have uh, good follow-up uh, initially uh, three months and then every six months and to treat to target in that issue we uh, uh, count uh, the remission rate uh, the DAS and uh, most of the parameter including HAC so clinical remission is an attainable goal for rheumatoid arthritis however data on RA remission rate from Saudi Arabia are limited there was one study from the private sector, and it was from the registry, I think, Zaidi registry, described a population of RA patient um, and remission after one year by Prof. Al Muallim. And in that study of 300 patients uh, on biologic, and they mentioned up to 75%, they attained remission within one year, which is, I mean, very high rate compared to um, the international other study. And maybe because the private hospital and uh, early referral or early starting of biologic, so uh, we don't know. This study is a multi-center real-life observational study prospectively collected from the Saudi Arthritis Registry. As I mentioned, the registry started in January 2018. And the objectives, the primary objective is to assess the remission rate and analyze factors related to remission. Secondary objective, reason for discontinuation of biological demands in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. And we have ongoing research about to clarify the retention rate of biological demands. The definition of remission that we use, the ACR ULAR definition, with having DAS less than 2.6, CDI less than uh, or equal to 2.8, and SDAI 3.3, and all these from the registry. So we include RA patient receiving standard care, um, we're enrolled um, uh, consecutively, and we choose five center where we have the inclusion criteria um, uh, involved in that center. So ethical approval was obtained from the IRB in all uh, of these involved center, and the inclusion criteria, uh, adult RA, more than 16 years of age, fulfilled the criteria of ACR 2010, and available complete data with a minimum of six month follow up, the exclusion criteria, irregular visit, patients who have lost the follow-up and SAR exclusive criteria. We use this statistical analysis, demographic characteristic, pharmacotherapy reason for discontinuation, various treatment regimen, clinical characteristic and comorbidities were summarized using descriptive statistic. The remission rate were presented as a, pro a proportion with the 95% confidence interval. Predictors of remission were evaluated using binary logistic regression. Those with a b-value less than 0.2 in the univariant analysis was taken into a multivariant regression. The result, currently SAR cohort for rheumatoid arthritis, we have uh, 1,700, which is 1,760 patients. And we choose a total of 996 patients who fulfilled the inclusion criteria, uh, so we include them. Here you can see uh, the, uh, uh, this um, table, I know it's crowded, but we'll, go, we'll just uh, summarize it. The mean standard deviation of age at the study participation was 47 uh, years. And you can appreciate here that we have a patient at presentation who are 60 years and above 20%, which is higher than the other population. Then we'll come to this point later on. And the follow-up for those patients who have follow-up up to five years was um, 56%. And the mean follow-up duration overall for the whole period was 70 months. 
Women for the majority, of course, like all the population, up to 87%. And uh, you can see here the percentage of DMARD. The conventional DMARD was used around 90%, biologic 47%, and targeted DMARD 12%. Drug combination, monotherapy uh, methotrexate was found in 31%. Methotrexate plus uh, etanercept in 11% plus abatacept in 5% because of the time I'll not go about all of them. But biological monotherapy in this cohort was on of 64% uh, uh, and most of them were those on tocilizumab and abatacept. Again, here in this um, table to show the number of patients who stopped the medication with their unconventional therapy. So this is mainly the retention, but we didn't uh, finalize it fully. But you can appreciate here up to 56% of patients on methotrexate discontinued the medication because of the side effect. Most of them of the side effect, only 12% because of remission. Uh, because of the time, I will just uh, go quickly. I found that uh, we found in this study the, uh, this, uh, the um, the rate of a patient on, like, example, for rituximab, the retention rate was 60 months with um, a standard deviation of 50. And you can see here in the uh, duration of use of, for example, etanercept up to uh, 54 uh, months, which is with a standard deviation of 40. So more or less the etanercept, adilimumab, a little bit equivalent, we found that patient, uh, the retention rate of uh, abatacept less as well as with um, uh, certiluzumab. Here, uh, this diagram just to show you the percentage of patients on different biologic, and you can see here in the tariff around 17%, and those who discontinue up to 30%, and uh, it was more or less similar to adilimumab, so the anti-TNF is similar. We are not using much of uh, infliximab, so we cannot, um, at least those in the cohort, we have just few numbers, so we cannot judge on these few numbers. So the incidence of remission, and uh, overall, it was 42% uh, over five years, but longer follow-up duration and low HAC score at the last visit were the predictor of indication of remission. And you can see it here. At one year, the remission rate, the incidence of remission rate was 4.3 with the confidence interval between 2.4 and 6. At two years, as you can appreciate, 9.7. And here at five years, up to 18.3. But later on, any patient uh, more than 10 years was higher the retention rate, which is expected, maybe because of uh, severe cases that require more follow-up, more treatment, and adjustment of the biologic. And the other thing, uh, w what we found that patients having incidence of remission who are diagnosed after uh, 2018 have higher rate of remission. And maybe because these patients in the cohort were managed by treat to target strategy and they are having early biological therapy uh, in their course. As uh, you can see here, total number of patients prescribed, the, the reason for this continuation here, uh, maybe I don't know about the time, but um, uh, just to highlight some of it, for example, the etanercept, we have the discontinuation, uh, like uh, primary failure 28, secondary failure 48. Though the retention rate, you see it from the briefest slide, up to 60 months, but this is usual. I mean, with anti-TNF, after years, we have a secondary failure for this medication. And you can appreciate here, for example, in rituximab, the, retention, uh, the remission rate was 13%, and uh, primary failure only uh, 9%. This continuation of methotrexate was found up to 57% in methotrexate followed by hydroxychloroquine. And the, the most common cause of discontinuation of hydroxychloroquine, severe hyperpigmentation as well as eye toxicity. So when we put this different factor in the univariant, what, uh, what we found that HAC at the last visit is significant, uh, CRB, uh, which is low CRB at presentation, again, significant. Uh, the presence of patient on biologic or targeted therapy is significant for remission. When we put it in a multivariant, you remember in the statistic, if it is less than 0.2, and what we found that only um, long follow-up duration as well uh, uh, as, well as um, HAC, uh, low hack at last visit as a uh, predictor of remission in this population. 
So this is just to summarize the uh, multivariant uh, analysis. So this proposal aimed to fill the gaps in the current understanding of rheumatoid arthritis remission and to develop practical tools and recommendations for clinicians and patients to improve management of RA. Still, we have unmet need in rheumatoid arthritis management, despite the era of biologic and the number of remission rate not exceeding 50%, as you can see here. Uh, and this can highlight the difficult to treat category. You remember see it in the previous lecture. Uh, but we, it seems to be in our ethnic group for uh, need future research. And actually, this is the coming uh, agenda for us. Uh, especially longer disease duration associated with remission rate denoted the difficulties associated with management of these patients. Most of our patients, as you saw, females, and this is like usual population, and the age group from 45 to 59, however, up to 20% are late onset uh, rheumatoid, with the 10 times more reported than internationally reported prevalence. And the remission rate was equal in both younger age group and late onset in our cohort. And this is unlike the previous reported case from the Ontario best practice. And the result also showed that the use of biological and targeted therapy was positively related to rheumatoid arthritis remission, which was in line with the result of several, uh, several previous studies. And this is not in the agreement of the result of the Ontario best practice when they did early management of patients with monotherapy demand, and they have good rate of remission. So the negative relationship between these therapies and remission might reflect the choice of treatment based on the disease severity according to the clinical practice and prospective randomized trials. The limitation of our study, our result demonstrated difference in the participating hospital and region, which may not be applied to other form like uh, in a private sector because we don't have in a private sector in the registry. The variation in evaluation of physician, global score and different investigators and maybe residual confounding due to the observational nature of the study. The strength about this study is one of the largest multicenter study in KSA to date, describing the remission rate in RA patient over time, and the large sample size allowed for more precise estimates, and the study has detailed data on clinical characteristic, treatment outcome over a long period of follow-up. Thank you for listening, and this is the end. Just to denote that we have a poster about recommendation of herbal zoster, and it's essential. So I encourage you to see it in the poster area. Thank you.